Hi, I'm Steve Thomas, editor of InMaricopa.com. It's Monday, November 15th, and this is your In Maricopa Minute. In top news, the City of Maricopa has begun to consider additions to the City Code to regulate marijuana cultivation and the location of pot dispensaries in the wake of Prop 203's Come From Behind success at the ballot box. The measure, which was declared victorious over the weekend, makes pot use legal for people with chronic and debilitating medical conditions and is expected to result in approximately 120 marijuana dispensaries opening statewide, including at least one in Maricopa. In other city news, former Maricopa police officer Martise Berry said he is done talking with the city and is preparing to file a claim in federal court. I attempted to settle this matter last week with the city, said Barry. My demand was to be reinstated as a police officer with back pay from August 11, 2009. The city rejected my request, stating that it is not feasible at this time. I don't think the city will comply with anything until they are forced to do so by a judge. Barry said he had the opportunity to file the claim in state court, but chose to go to the federal level because it presents more remedies. All the state can do is give me my job back and my back pay, Barry said. That's not going to cut it now. Looking ahead to tomorrow, the City Council is scheduled to adopt the first quarter financial status report at 7 p.m. meeting. The report details revenue collections and spending by the City during the first three months of this fiscal year and has taken on added significance due to the multi-million dollar shortfall between projected and actual revenue. The Council is also slated to hear an update on the City's troubled circular and commuter bus services. I'm Steve Thomas and that was your In Maricopa Minute.